morning everybody thanks for tuning back in welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Josie and I live in the Silver Coast of Portugal my channel is dedicated to helping families with their move so hopefully you guys enjoy this and if you're new feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like if you like this type of content anyway after so many people have emailed and messaged me I am going to show you around Sao Martino de Porto which is about 10 minutes northwest of Caldish it's right along the beach so if you saw my Salir de Porto video, Sal Martino is super close. You can practically walk there. Sal Martino is known for their very calm bay water. So if you want, are looking for somewhere to take your kids that's super safe without the waves, Sal Martino is an awesome option for you. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go. So right over there is Salir de Porto. And if you drive along this road, it takes you to Sal Martino. And what I do notice and love they have these amazing flat sidewalks that take you from Salir to San Martino. So you can walk over here very comfortably, even with a stroller. So as you can see, right back there is the Atlantic Ocean that takes you over to this huge bay area and a lot of soft sand right here so you guys can lay out. So again, Salir de Porto huge sandy and this is like super soft golden sand and then sal martino is right over there so we're gonna walk towards the sal martino side so there is a train that takes you from caldish up to here and i believe it's like a euro a little over a euro one way so you're looking at about two and some change euros for a day trip which it's great because it drops you off literally at the beach and you don't really have to worry about parking or anything like that. So there is San Martino, this huge area of sand for you guys to relax, maybe put an umbrella up and enjoy the day. So on the other side of that road I was showing you earlier, it's kind of like a boardwalk style area where where there are a bunch of restaurants and shops and places to hang out all along this road. So I think that's super cute. father-in-law was craving ice cream, a banana split in particular. So we had to go to this place here called um, Gelato Mania because they have every single ice cream ideas that you could think of. So in my Salir de Porto video, you remember the um, the sand dunes, which is right over there, and this is whole this whole thing is Salir de Porto. So I'm, now we're just on the other side. So just to give you an idea how co how close uh, both locations are. So weather update. Yes, last past week has been, I would say the coldest it's been since we arrived here. It was in probably like the low to high 50s and the sun wasn't out. I mean, it was out, but it was an overcast day and certain days it rained and not rained and all that stuff. And there was a lot of wind, probably the most wind we've encountered, though it was bearable wind but it was just it made it colder so that being said it's you know now the beginning of April so that was the end of March and now it's beginning of April and the sun has 
come out and the wind has stopped so it still feels amazing here I'm wearing you know a very light sweater a turtleneck and I'm not walking around with a jacket it's in the 60s so yeah I'm still enjoying it so we took a turn off the main road to a side road and you can see there's a bunch of little shops all along this road and the sidewalk still extends out and look how wide these sidewalks are I don't know why I'm super fascinated with these big sidewalks but you know so down this little alleyway also has a little mini market perfect just to go in and grab what you need Okay, also along the alleyway, I don't want to say alleyway, but that side street, if you make a left where you see the Mercado, if you saw us eat at that one little restaurant that was a burger joint, here it is, right down this road. So, we're going to film. So, I'm going to film my lunch just to give you an idea of the type of foods that are, that is here. And also here is the butcher. I love the tiling outside, so cute. This is the little hamburger joint. That was yummy, very yummy. Look at these. There's so many side rows you can just walk along and discover something new. All right, so let's look at properties here. So this, um, oh, okay. So this is a plot of land for 107,000 euros. A three bedroom, I think it's new construction, going for 445. Also another plot of land for 43,000 euros. This one already is already sold. This one looks like, what is it? Is it an apartment, is it a house? Either one, but it's a three bedroom, it's 230. A house for 250 and when I was on Idealista you can find some apartments within a really quick walking distance to the beach for under 200,000 so which is like a two or three bedroom place depending the three bedroom needed more repairs the two bedroom was newer so either way it's a good price if you want to be by the beach and you don't mind living in an apartment So over there is the main boardwalk and we're still walking down the side alleyway, which I think you can't drive where we are like here, but then you drive over there. And there's the more restaurants and more shops here. And then there's also a nice little patch of grass for children to play on, or I think they might have pic... Okay, so there's no picnic benches but there are some chairs to sit on. And a perfect day like today, it's kind of nice to relax outside. All right, so again, this is April, so there aren't that many people on the beach, but there are still a lot of locals, obviously, that are here and enjoy the beach on this nice day. So I don't know how it is in the summertime. I'm pretty sure it's packed. But if you come in April, it is so nice. Or even March, I'm sure it's like this in March too. It was almost like having the whole beach to yourself. I did also see people go swimming in the bay. So some people may find it warm. I don't. <laughs> now we're just walking back to this Leo de Porto side. And yeah, I mean, this is such a cute little town. to take you on a quick tour of Miradoru, which is located in Salir de Porto slash Sao Martino. It's actually, well, it's located in Salir de Porto, but it's Sao Martino and Salir de Porto is very close to each other. So 
I wanted to also bring along my family and uh, along with my newly four-year-old child to see if it's an easy walk for her to do alone. So these stairs are just a tiny bit steep, but really not that bad at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. All right, ciao. Mwah.